have you been sleeping since you got here? Um, my sleep has gone severely downhill since I've got here. Well, since I've got here, I've not been sleeping too well. Some, it's something about being here that has an effect on us. Um, I don't know what it is, I don't know why. Something has definitely been affecting my sleep and I kind of find it, found it difficult to like stay asleep and also get to sleep at a regular time recently. When I got to uni, uh, I had a normal sleeping pattern, never thought about it in my life before. Went to bed at 10, 11 o'clock at night, had a job so I would get up early, go to my job, come home and do it again. Then I come here and there's so much freedom mixed with less freedom somehow. So before I came to uni, I already did have some issues with sleeping. I um, had developed over the past, like uh, about two years ago, I'd say, one to two years ago, I developed a like phobia of sleep and I've um, had a lot of anxiety around sleeping and actually getting to sleep and staying asleep. Uh, I used to have really bad issues sleeping a few years ago and it got better in my gap year. And then I came here, I'm just not sleeping, like ever. Why, why do you think that is? Um, mostly because I think there's just too much going on. As well as that, there is the whole like FOMO that I'm missing out on some social events that I should go to and then anxiety around whether I should be going to these events, whether it's safe to go to these events and whether people will even want me at these events. And then on top of that, there's the idea that what if I have work that I'm meant to be doing right now? What if I don't get this work done at any other point? And it's just a bunch of layers that then end up to uh, a lot of overthinking when it comes to trying to sleep and there's not much you can do at that point to kind of will yourself back to sleep and be able to get some sleep. If I'm lying at bed, in bed at night, because I haven't got anyone else worrying about what I'm doing, I'm just worrying about what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah, I think because I take psychology it's always, always looking at what caused this and what caused this was anxiety, mostly. Last night, someone above me was just, st I don't know what they were doing, just like, grabbing the chair, maybe ramming it on the ceiling. And it was like four o'clock in the morning and they're just like stamping on the floor. Who, when do these people sleep? You're always hearing everyone else. You're always wondering what's going on. Or it might not even be what's going on, it's that's too loud, I can't sleep because it's a new environment. I always hear my flatmate snoring every night and that's new to me. I don't hear people snoring at home. So even though it's not loud and it's not exactly keeping me awake, it's because it's new. And that new environment really plays on your mind all the time. I've always struggled with, well, when do I do my university work or when do I have time for myself? And that time is four or five in the morning. Uh, I will quite typically fall asleep at maybe 4am and then wake up at 2pm, quite typically. Getting to about like three, four, five. Sometimes even wouldn't even sleep. Would go all day, then all night, awake, and then probably get like four hours sleep. It's seven o'clock in the morning, we haven't slept. And I thought it was just me. And then um, started hearing other people saying the exact same thing. And it got to the point where there was too many people saying it for it not, for it not to be like, there's, ha there's got to be a reason why. Even people in third year that I know said in their first year that they couldn't sleep. Well, I don't. They don't necessarily talk about the fact that they can't sleep, but if I ever go into the kitchen at 2 a.m., I can hear everyone and in their rooms still awake watching things. And sometimes we have a bit of a conversation like, oh, didn't sleep very well last night. But it's usually we're all in the same boat, like we'll all hear each other go into the kitchen and someone else will join you in the kitchen because they're also awake. I'm hoping that just getting used to where I am will 
fix the sleeping issue. But only time will tell. <laughs> 